How are you, Maria? I'm talking to Maria Peterson. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm happy to be back. Well, me too. I'm happy you're here. Hi, Tahia. Ta Tahia, did I pronounce it correctly? Yes, hi. How are you? <laughs> okay, how, how do you how do you pronounce your name? Tahia. 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 Uh-huh. Okay. Because the H doesn't sound. Mm -hmm. Tahia. <laughs> and you said you're from Brazil? Costa Rica. From oh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Where where in Costa Rica? It's a La Juela. A La okay. Juela. Costa Rica is a very small country, only five million people, and, and it's small. <laughs> I've been in your country. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. nice. I, I went to, um, trying to remember where I went, to Montes Ah, see. Yeah. I, I love mean, of course, yeah. So I stayed there for three weeks. Nice. <laughs> the next time you come, just call us. <laughs> absolutely absolutely soon. thank you very soon <laughs> thank, thank you. you very very uh, thank you for vida. your teachings oh you're welcome pura vida pura vida <laughs> <laughs> yes sir I, um, we're going to, next Wednesday is our academy, and then right two days, uh, three days after the academy, on the 10th, we're going to start the, uh, our self-awakening retreat, so that's going to be on the 10th. And we're going to be doing it for nine days straight, two hours a day. The reason I want it to be nine days, well, no, nine is my number. So that's seven and nine. There are two numbers I feel very connected and obviously five. <laughs> but nine, if I have to choose one number out of everything, number nine is, is the one. So, but I wanted to have some continuity and I wanted to be, we talked about maybe taking a break in between and uh, catch up in case if we have problems with our equipments because you never know how things go. But then I was like, okay, I want to build up the energy. So imagine we have this every day and we come and sit together and the energy starts to build up and a part of that build up of the energy is to to help you raise your vibrations to a higher frequency and then help you to sustain the your new level of awareness so you don't fall back so as we build up the energy and it's consistent so let's say the totality of the group, the energy, the vibration is vibrating in this level and the individual enters into the collective. So then you're rising your vibrations, you're being pulled up to match up to the collective and coming into the unified field. And when I'm able to keep you into a higher uh, vibrational frequency for a longer period of time, then what happens is things starts to change in you in cellular memory. Old information in cellular memory begin to dissipate and gets replaced by higher vibration of higher frequency 
information that is actually of use to you in the new era that we have entered. Because obviously, the other stuff, it was good enough to get us to where we're at. But where we are now and where we're going to, it's a different ball game. It's time to be awake. It's time to let go of our old ways. As you can also see, all the changes in the world are happening. So I'm also thinking I'm going to have a four-day retreat after the uh, this retreat that we're doing. And I will be offering another one. Uh, it's a paid event, of course. Um, and focusing specifically on how we can raise our vibrations to a higher frequency and how we can sustain it. Because what happens is this is what I've seen. This was my experience. And it's a very, very typical phenomena that happens. In with a lot of spiritual teachers, a lot of gurus, um, and I've been a part of it, is what happens is that we get, when we do a workshop, we get very high in the workshop. So you're with your teacher, and they're capable of raising the vibrations to a higher frequency and you get really high from it and you feel very good you're really happy it's wonderful and you ride that high for let's say for a week or two or whatever but then as you all have experienced it there's a crash you start falling back into your old ways and then you want to go and do another workshop with your teacher because you want the high. Naturally, we all want to feel good. So, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. I want to be able to teach you and share with you what I've learned, and I'm trying different ways. And it's a working process, it's getting sharpened to how can I help you sustain a higher frequency and remain in a higher level of awareness all the time, not just when we're doing the workshop. When you're on your own, when you're left out in Timbuktu by yourself, when everything goes wrong in your life, and you can still remain that level, stay in that level. And that's one of my quests, my mission, my challenge. I challenge myself to create a system, a way a form of a teaching that I can succeed in that. Not again just for a weekend or a week or two or three weeks, but creating something that I can transmit it to you and teach it to you that you can sustain that level all the time. So you don't go to these ups and downs and crashes.